And opening game nerves can often take hold. Match day one for these two nations here at the 2024 UEFA European Championship. Who will be first to make their mark on the group? Stay tuned, it's live on EA TV. Hello and welcome, and I can tell you it was a dry walk to the gantry today, no rain in sight. My name is Derek Ray, and I'm joined for commentary by the former Arsenal and West Ham player Stuart Robson. I'm excited to be bringing you match day one action at the Euros. It's Denmark against England. Well, these teams know they cannot afford to drop points today. It's so important they're consistent throughout the group stage if they want to progress further in the tournament. Should be tense, Derek. electing not to show him the yellow card, Stuart. And I think it's the right decision. It is a foul, but it doesn't deserve a card. And the starting lineup for Denmark. Kasper Schmeichel is the keeper. Simon Kerr plays with Andreas Christensen in central defence. Pierre-Emile Pernier plays alongside Christian Eriksen in the centre of midfield. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. The England first 11. Jordan Pickford stands between the posts. John Stone starts alongside Harry Maguire in central defence. Phil Foden plays with Bukayo Saka on the flanks. And the focal point in attack today, Harry Kane. Well, last time out at the Euros, England fell at the final hurdle, losing in the final itself at the hands of Italy on penalties. But you look at the squad, you look at where England should be, and we're led to believe, Stuart, that this could well be England's Euros. Absolutely. I think England are a very good team. They've got a manager that's failed in the very biggest games. That's where he's got to improve. And you mentioned that game against Italy in 2020. That's a game they should have won. They should have beaten France at the World Cup as well. Gareth Southgate has to get this right. England have got some great players. They should be favourites for this tournament. Physically strong and secure on the ball. That's the end of that move for now. They're on the scent of something positive. And a useful cross. A goal in the early stages. Precisely what they have been planning. Well, here's the replay, and it's a really inviting ball played into the box. Begging players to attack it, and it's a comfortable finish in the end, which is made to look so easy. It's a lovely goal. Foden. Making use of his physical strength to hang on to it. Fairly easy for the referee to spot that deflection. So now a throw in. And a throw coming up after a really fine piece of tackling. Will he play it in? Oh, it's 
whistle from England. Can. Here's Christensen. Very quick thinking there. Foden. Bukayo Saka. Patience and persistence on the passing front in the name of finding an equaliser. shows us what a good final pass this is from Foden. He just keeps his composure and finds his teammate. And Kane wasn't going to miss that. He knows exactly how to find a bit of space in the box. He's a great player. So, a level contest. 1-1. One, one. Kea. to read it Foden they chose him to go through Harry Kane options around him Foden oh, could be and able to close down the shots A strength to good effect. Walker just couldn't keep it. We need to get tighter here. Oh, and with a chance! Well, that is high level goalkeeping. Well, he's just pulled off a great save there. That's goalkeeping of the highest quality, I would say. Forward and the break looks 
on. And let's give credit to the defending. We've had the official word, and there will be a minimum of two added minutes. Making progress. And Bellingham. On to Alexander Arnold. comes to an end. Well, the story as far as Jude Bellingham is concerned, a struggle for him to make an impact. Well, I wouldn't say he's pulled up any trees today. He just hasn't affected the game. He's looked slightly off the pace, both with and without the ball.
Tapia. Foden. Oh, and a wonderful stop. But now we see that the offside flag has gone up. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. minutes remaining now. Perfect tackle. Walker. And back to Bellingham. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. And Bellingham. Composed and patient passing. to hand out the yellow card but no booking on this occasion time for the change now shield the ball and control it that's the end of that move for now and space to cross it and they stop them in their tracks and the pressure was sustained and coordinated and the shot This is a really good goal. Just look how well balanced he is. He knows he's going to be under pressure, but he shows great composure to hit the target. Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider.
for full time and Denmark have been defeated Stuart your thoughts well Derek it was a poor result it was a really tight contest both sides had their chances could have gone either way but in the end they will be disappointed and really no complaints whatsoever about his performance in this game Stuart well he obviously scored the winning goal but it was his overall performance that impressed me most he was on fire today